Sometimes I feel discriminated against, but that does not anger me. It merely astonishes me. How could someone deny themselves the company of me? Meet Laura Neal Hurston, born in 1891 in a small town known as Edenville, Florida. She's an accredited anthropologist, journalist, novelist, and essayist. She made a silly way for African American contemporaries today. She wrote in an era known as the Harlem Renaissance, which is a, was a period of rebirth for the African American literature and traditions. Before she became an accredited anthropologist, she had to drop out of school at the age of 13 due to her mother's death. But this helped her. She began, she started a penny pension and eventually graduated from Howard University with a degree in anthropology. If I have to describe her in one word, that one word would have to be phenomenal because of the obstacles she has faced, the milestones she has made, and the way she is regarded as an individual throughout African American literature that makes her my model figure. I would rather for this to be a celebration rather than a eulogy because her legacy still lives on even though she is not here. Let's remember her first by her journey on becoming a journalist, then her honors and rewards, and also the real issues she used to offer advice and inspiration. According to Speak So You Can Speak Again, a book written by Lucy Hurston, Zora Neale Hurston became a secretary writer for Fannie Hurst at Paramount and Warner Brothers. Then she went on writing for a magazine known as Opportunity, which was funded by the NAACP. And then she went on to write for a magazine known as Parsons, which jumpstarted her career. In 1935, a, a folklore book known as Mules and Men was published. It is regarded as one of the best works of folklore and cultures of blacks. Then, what she is most famous for, 1937, Their Eyes Were Watching God. <clears throat> this helped her get inducted into the New York Writers Hall of Fame. She then went on to wear the Annisfield Book Award in race relations in 1943, and then she also won the, the Distinguished Alumni Award at Howard University. According to the official site of Zora Neale Hurston Legacy, she is one of the most important American writers of the 20th century. She used controversial issues or taboo subjects to let the reader know it happens to everyone. And her stories also sometimes make her life, and they always had just endings. Her stories are, were always a timeless issue, and she dealt with them in ways even though they were expressed to fictional characters. I chose her because of her emphasis. She put it on African-American culture, and she is also a famous scientist who helped shine the light on black culture and what it means to understand it. As I close, I would like to say it has been an honor to present to you the legacy of Zora Neale Hurston, how she became a renowned journalist, her honors and awards, and how she focused on real-life situations even though she was regarded not to. Thank you.